Hi guys, what's up, Jason here, and welcome back to a brand new FIFA 18 player review on my channel. So in today's video, guys, I'm going to be reviewing 87 rated team of the season Kevin Prince Boateng. Now today, guys, I'm going to be telling you if I think you should buy this card or not. So as you can see, in the two matches I did play with him, he managed to get me four goals from the centre mid position, what in my opinion is very, very good. He does have the four star combo as well with the four star weak foot and the four star skill moves. So now moving on into the in-game stats, so as you can see, he's got some really really good stats um, very similar to Hully you know just looking at his card um, just very well rounded so he's got um, okay pace at 79 and then the rest of his stats are in the 80s or above so as you can see he's got some insane shooting stats especially in the shot power and the long shot category moving over to the physical category as well he's also got 92 strength so this guy is very very strong and as well as that he's actually good defensively as well with a few good um, defensive stats such as the slide tackle and stand tackle so guys this has been the in-game stats now let's get into the highlights. So now moving into the highlights for team of the season Boateng, the first pro I could find with this card was his strength and that is also his key stat for this um, video, 92 strength and as you can see there the first clip there Boateng using his strength to outstrength the defender there, goes through, takes a rainbow flick and then the goalie manages to save it. So after that the next pro I could find with this card was his dribbling, now this guy has a really really good dribbling, um, you can especially tell it when scaling and as you know I love to skill um, with players on FIFA so yeah he's just really really good keeps it so close to his feet and it's just you know touch tight there's really hard to dispossess him you know because his strength is really good and then you know combined it with his dribbling it just makes him so so hard to dispossess and it's very good you know when um, you're carrying the ball forward from the center mid position you know to more attacking positions and then the final pro I could find with this card was his passing now I was actually very surprised about this he does only have 86 passing what isn't bad but it isn't exactly the best there are a lot of players on this game with you know of course um, higher passing stats but for some reason Boateng's passing seems to be absolutely incredible for me um, another one is pros that I couldn't like really fit onto the screen just because there isn't enough room um, and that was his long shots this guy has really good long shots um, I think he has around 92 shot power as well so he definitely knows how to hit them um, he has around 84 long shots as well on as um you know the long shot stat and as you can see here we get a really good long shot and smash it off at the crossbar but anyway guys this has been the highlights now let's get into the overview So now moving into the overview for team of the season Boateng. Now for value of coins I'm going to give him a 7.5 out of 10. The main reason is just because this is you know the first day of team of the season so I do feel like his card will drop quite a lot. Maybe to around the 60 to 70 thousand coin mark and I think when he drops to around that price he would definitely be worth you know the value because you know you're getting basically a card with very similar stats to baby um, Rude Hullet so you know I definitely think he is worth the coins. Enjoyment wise I'm also going to give him an 8 out of 10 you know it was very enjoyable to use competitiveness wise I got I think this guy is um, a very very good you know 8.5 out of 10 I think that's a really fair rating you know the only thing that does let him down is that stamina um, it isn't really the best you know he gets tied towards the end of the game but it isn't the worst stamina in the world it's not like players like you know prime um, sorry end of era Kaka where around the 70th minute he seems to get tired with the Watang it's more towards you know the 80 90th minute so I don't really think that's a problem skilling wise I'm gonna give him a 7 out of 10 and then I'm gonna give him an overall rating of an 8 out of 10 so guys if you have enjoyed this player review and want to see more FIFA 18 player review views on my channel don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe thanks for watching and see you next time